Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm happy to show you today this amazing uh, release, re-release of the iconic 935 Martini. This is a very nice kit. I always wanted to have one and to maybe build one. And I have to say that I always missed the <laughs> previous releases. Now I'm happy I have a, a shop and I can order them. Uh, to my distributor and have them. So here we are, and it's uh, exactly um, a release of the previous one, nothing fancy, nothing new, but I'm sure I'm going to use one to make some additional details or a uh, detail up or a trance kit that I will talk about in uh, coming weeks and with my uh, Porsche expert friend. So we can see what can be increased, what can be uh, maybe changed, and maybe other cars. As you know, this is the 120. It's uh, not a common 24 uh, scale. It's a scale that is usually used for uh, F1 cars, and only a few cars have been made in this scale. I think it's quite strange because uh, cars um, get to be quite big, instead of the F1 that are comparable in 124 to the real cars. And, but this scale uh, allows you to have a lot more details. You can easily uh, work on everything and have less uh, problems with thickness and be a lot more accurate overall. So it can be built in a very, very amazing uh, model and Let's see what's inside and what we are working with. As, we, as usual, this will be online uh, for sale on our web store. Uh, I think the detail out for this car or any other parts will come after we publish the kits on the site because uh, it will take quite some time and we will do it with the time it needs to, to take. So let's open the box. Let's put this here. So, as usual, we have the full body kit. You see, the hood is mounted, that means that there's no detail uh, beneath. What we have is the hole for the caps that will be assembled later in the second step. We have the separate uh, hood uh, uh, engine cover. Overall, the kit is Tamiya style. Even if it's quite old, old we have a very crisp detail, very clean uh, production, and looks like usual Tamiya quality. Here we have the molded in pins. This is not ideal because to paint all of them, it will be kind of crazy. So I give it a look. Handles are separate, so nothing new for all of you guys. Then we have transparent parts. Transparent parts are really simple, usual Tamiya parts, nothing fancy. So this is good to go. Then we have here half engine the bottom part and oh yeah because this is made for to be motorized this kit what was motorized so yes absolutely we can add more parts and more details so most probably the engine will be covering the batteries so that's why we have the opening there it's nice we have the turbos and there's quite some detail we will check with the instructions to see what can be redone, made from scratch or added. Here we have another part. We have front rims. I believe that this should be the front rims. Some, it's quite hard to see black on black. We have the grill for the rear and we have the suspension 
This is the roll bar, it's quite big and goofy. This is the seat, and we have pedals. It's we have a quite nice steering wheel. We have the front the rims. I believe these are the front. We have the ventilators, they are quite nice. We have to be extra careful to remove the sprues because it's very easy to break one off. I see a little bit of flash on some of these, but can be easily cleaned. We have the doors. This is just a structure probably for the batteries. Then we have the chassis. Okay, here you go. Here we have the front area is open. So maybe we can work on removing the hood and putting some details there. We can work there. Here it is open because it will be the battery. So yeah, nothing fancy. Then we have the pilot, the usual 90s and 80s pilots from Tamiya. I've never used one of them. I have a pile of them in the extra parts. This is, there's a mesh on it. So yeah, I will change this because this goes to simulate a mesh and some openings probably on the side. Then we have other two rims. These are the worst type of rims. They are completely full, so Burago style. So here we are. Then we have decals, usual Martini colors decals with a little of extra. It is good, always needed. And finally, the hood, the engine cover, here it is, and types. So here we go. Here are just the instructions, pretty easy, nothing too fancy. Here it seems that the engine is a full one, or maybe they did the option to put the batteries, so this will be very nice. And it's usual Tamiya thing, so it's very, very nice. Let's see what we can do with this kit. Amazing.